Sani Bonani Dumela Abusheni Ah Hello, hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to African Closa A S M R In today's video I will be talking about the cone on cylinder house or otherwise popularly known as the hut or rendezvous. In the Klosa culture, we call it Uronda. Uronda can be defined as a circular single room building associated in the past with a thatched roof and it can be used as a bedroom, living room, kitchen and storage all at the same time. The big question you're probably asking yourself is what is this beauty made from and why is it round? Well, don't worry, I got you. This type of house is made from mud and dung mixture, thatched grass, wooden pylons, bending wood or flexible sticks or otherwise known as indungo in the Klosa culture. I am familiar with two ways of constructing this house. The first one is the use of indungo flexible sticks and the second one is by making bricks from mud and dung mixture. When using indungo flexible sticks you dig holes and place pillars inside those holes. You have to place them in a vertical position or direction. They should be oriented in a circular design. Then you have to wrap in dungo around the pillars. Indungo should be positioned horizontally when rotating them around the pillars. After you are complete with placing Indungo, you have to take mud and cow dung mixture and place it in the space in between or underneath in Dungo. The mud and cow dung mixture is made by mixing water with mud, cow dung or sometimes clay 
or other materials if needed and then stomping your feet in it to ensure that everything is ethereally mixed homogeneous mixture. The act of doing this is referred to as ukuqovudak. Ukuqovudak. When placing the mud and cow dung mixture between the flexible sticks in Dungo, you need to make sure that you are applying as much as you possibly can so that zero space is left and so that the pillars and sticks are completely covered as well. After you are done with that step, you need to smooth out the mixture using the palm of your hand. The act of doing this is called ukukiabeka. Ukukiabeka. This type of house typically has two windows, one on each end of the diameter, one door in between the two windows. And the roof is held up by wooden pylons. The roof itself is made from thatching grass. If you want to construct the house using bricks, you have to mix the mud and sometimes dung with dry grass and water. You then mold the mixture to the shape of a block, cylinder block and let it dry. Once the mud bricks are dry, clay, mud and other materials such as cement are then used to hold the bricks together as the rondeval is built. After building it, you can cover the bricks through the act referred to as Oku Kiabeka and then paint your house using a special chemical referred to as Ikalika in Kosa. Ikalika comes in different colors, but people mostly prefer using this shade of blue. So now, why is it round? Well, that's because most indigenous societies, not just in Mzansi, but in Africa as a whole, culturally set in circles. So, rendezvous rendered to this arrangement to ensure that 
there is no one being hidden in corners more especially during family gatherings or communal drinking of traditional brews or even during storytelling time and last but not least during the cold winter seasons whereby a fire would be made in the center of the room and then the family members would then gather around the fire in a circle in order to keep warm. Another reason why it's round is because this symmetry makes the rondevals resistant to strong winds because the wind won't be able to bounce off on the corners of the house so the strong winds just dissipate the follow-up question is does it always have to be round the answer to that question is absolutely not times have changed and now there are six or eight corner rendezvous and they can be made from the same material a normal house is made from in South Africa which would be signed blocks cement and sand nowadays instead of using touching grass for roofing or ronta people normally use metal roofing material such as galvanized iron or zinc sheets or tiles as can be seen here there is even a sliding folding door and multiple windows in this eight corner house the door is made from one-way mirror glass this glass lets light inside and you can't see through it from the exterior this significantly increases privacy it also changes their aesthetic as well this rendezvous is obviously being constructed but I just wanted to show you guys what modern day rendezvous versus the olden day rendezvous look like and yeah and I also wanted to prove to you guys that it is not always have to be round and you don't always have to use the same materials as back in the day so yeah that is going to be it for today's video I hope you learned a thing or two about Oronda found in Mzansi, Eastern Cape. 
ulale kakuhle uphole kakuhle uzole kakuhle nokuba yintoni nantoni nantoni oyenzayo uyenze kakuhle and what that means is good night sleep tight sweet dreams and whatever it is that you do i hope that you will flourish mna ndizakubona kwixesha elizayo i will see you next time bye bye